Today on Speed Bump Garage, I traded some of our merch for this pack rat infested Volkswagen, and we're gonna get it running after being parked for more than 20 years. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Welcome back to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Jack, and today I traded my buddy Brent a Speed Bump Garage shirt and a hat for a Volkswagen, and I'm not so sure I got a good deal. I think he said this is a 1972 Volkswagen. It has a flat toe set up on it, but we brought the trailer. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> it's a Volkswagen. It's a Volkswagen. Okay. Add it to the collection. All right, so give us the grand tour of what you've got us into. Well, it's a white Volkswagen. Let's see. That door does not work. We also drove about 45 minutes to get here. It's got a California tag on it. 2001. Yeah. That's not that long ago. Seems like yesterday. I guess that's still quite a while ago. Oh, it has the sunroof right here. We do not have a bug that has a sunroof on it. I am not a fan of the sunroof. No? No. Alright. Looks like this was originally an orange bug. We got a little bit of rust coming through here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely it was orange. See? Oh, yep. I haven't looked in here yet. I can see torn up seats. That's all I can see through the window. It seems that it's missing some seats. Oh! I see ground, Jack. I see ground. I can see dirt. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Is it? It's a Flintstones car. With the family down the street. You don't have a back seat. I think well, you got a back seat frame. Yeah. I guess that's probably what your sunroof did to you. Oh yeah, but that sunroof probably leaked. I wonder if that sunroof's factory. It looks fairly well done if it's not. Yeah. Look at this thing. What is this? Six and 12 volt cell tester. Oh, it'd be like a battery. A battery tester. tester. That's cool. I don't know how it works. Me either. Well, the interior leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah. No passenger seat. You got some old oil cans. I'm not sure these oil cans are going to make the ride. I can see dirt can you open that door? throughout the whole car. Hmm. Oh, this side dressed it out too. Yeah, I think you're going to have to get all this stuff out of there or we're going to be losing it on the trailer. Losing it going home. Oh. Ta -da. That looks, looks complete. Looks complete. It's got oil in it. Pretty black. Alright. It was to turn over. <laughs> oh, oh no. You try that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got it. Woo! I bet we can make it run. Oh yeah. Well, we have something good. Yeah, maybe we got a good engine. Yeah. Because the car is not not that impressive yet. No. Now it gets rotten. Here's your gas pedal. Oh, yeah. Gas pedal cover. That's great. The button doesn't work. <laughs> oh. What in the world? How does that even happen? What is this? Did you bring your RC car? Me and AJ are gonna go play RCs. This is great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a... I think you're not good. You need to get some gloves on. Well, we found the shovel in Dad's truck, luckily, and I'm gonna get to work cleaning this bug out. I'll show you one good thing about this trip. I made a deal on this tailgate badge there. I kind of need that for my daily driver. Ooh. There's my gas tank. Oh, 
I'm not sure I want to touch anything that I'm going to be doing right now. I need to eat that, Dad. Ugh. See how much rust is under this. Hold your breath. not the tire. <laughs> <laughs> Since we have massive holes in the floorboard, I'm going to take a lot of this stuff out. I want to keep that Champlin can because we have a big old Champlin sign in the shop actually. But all this other stuff will stay here. Let's check on Dad. What are you doing? Got it off? That made this trip worth it right there. Yeah, that's what we need. How good a shape that sucker is. Yeah. A few dents in it, but man, it's in really good shape. Heck yeah. One of the brackets was broken on the back, but hopefully there's at least one salvageable on mine. Yeah. That will look good on greeny. Mm-hmm. I just found a butter knife in the cab, so here's our collection of knives out of the Volkswagen. I don't know if this is silver. It says Rogers nickel silver on it. I don't know. I'll keep it around. I saw a tick. Yeah. I think you're gonna need a shovel. There's a flat toe set up on this, but I don't think we want to tow it all the way home. We're gonna hook the trailer winch up to it and try to winch it up slowly. Right. I get the ramps out on the trailer. I don't know if you've seen him yet, but AJ is here. He's playing with his RC crawler. What do you think about my Volkswagen? Not what I expected. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a piece of junk, but it's okay. We'll use the engine out of it at least. Yeah. All right, hit it, Dad. Pull it out of its hole. Something is not sounding good. Alright, that's for oh. I don't know. I think that's probably neutral. Yeah. Go. Oh, there's a tree underneath it. All right, go. Why is it rolls so good? I know. Air. The tires look aired up. Are we gonna hit our hitch? Probably. That wasn't so bad. Nope. Yeah. Really wasn't. Another thing sitting over here. The guy that we got this from, Brent, he's a big antique collector and he was telling me these things. They're called lubesters. I'll show you them right now. So there's these big tanks. Gas stations back in the day used to buy oil in bulk and they fill these up and you put your can under here when you needed a quart of oil and then crank your oil into the can and you fill your car up. So that's what all these are. So yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. You said this one, you pull this back, fill your can up, and then you'd put that back, 
and the excess would drain down back into the tank. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's the next day we got the Volkswagen all unloaded and I only have a few hours today before I'm getting busy. So we're gonna focus on cleaning it up. I got the shop back over here. We're gonna shop back all these mouse turds out of here. AJ's launching cars off of this ramp. <laughs> before we get started, this hood won't stay up on its own. I look under here, there's loose bolts. So I'm gonna try to tighten those up and hopefully it'll stay up on its own. Yeah, I just tightened it up. It's not going to stay up. Let's just take it off. Remember to put it back on. Can they see me? I, we can't see your face. Well, that's your job to move the camera. Okay. Can they see the hood and me? Yes. Okay. I just took all the bolts out of this because I couldn't get it to stay up. Now, this should just lift up off here. There you go. All right, you can turn it off then. Thank you. Gotta do that. Just press the red button again. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the shop back up and get vacuuming all the mouse poop out of there. It's day three, yesterday I got the car all cleaned out, no more rat poop. So today we're gonna try to get it running, hopefully. First thing we gotta do is put a battery in. So you can see where our battery sits. There's my feet. So I'm gonna throw the slice and slate in there to help it not fall out. And I don't know how much that's gonna help though. So it seems like we got both of our battery terminals. Now let's our battery in there. Hopefully it doesn't just fall through. Okay, it stayed in there. So our ground is in not that good of shape. Then positive is hooked up to this mess of wiring. I got my battery hooked up and as you can see there's no ignition or key nothing so we're gonna have to hook up a button so i have my little go trigger under here hooked up to the starter underneath there and hooked up to the battery now i should be able to hit this and it'll turn over we're in neutral so let's see what happens ah well it doesn't seem like our starter is working it is sitting there and clicking I tried tapping on the starter and hitting the starter at the same time, couldn't get it on film, but it's not working, so I just had a really good idea, I think. I think we can pull this behind either one of our trucks, because it has a flat tail on it, and put it in gear and it'll roll the engine over, and we can maybe get it started that way. We gotta get gas hooked up and an ignition wire to give it power to get spark so yeah let's get some of that hooked up another thing i noticed was these plug wires are not good they're all chewed up everywhere so i'm gonna have to replace those so i grab a whole another setup from another bug out in the pasture and it has good plug wires so i'm gonna replace those i'm just gonna go one by one replacing these that plug wire came out all the plug wires replaced now I'm gonna pull the distributor cap and see how these points are looking pull this okay the points the points are definitely dirty and don't tell mom but I stole a nail file and we're gonna use it clean those points. 
I don't know how well you can see, but I'm just going to stick the snail file in between these two and sand it away. Get my hand out of the way. And then one side's coarser than the other, so I'll just flip it around. Make sure I get both sides really good. Throw this distributor cap on and we'll be good. I went ahead and got the gas tank set up. I'll show you my setup. I got a boat tank back here. And then our hose actually runs down right here through a rust hole. And then out this right here zip tied it tight so it doesn't get under the tire and then hooked up to our fuel pump that will pump through this hose to the carburetor since we don't have a key I'm having to hot wire it so I went ahead and ran a temporary wire from the coil to the battery and show you in there where it's clipped right there runs under the car and hooks up now let's check for spark on our points and make sure we're good There you go. All right, we definitely have spark. Now I think ready for a test drive. We'll have to pull start it. We got AJ and Dad over here, and now we have it all hooked up on the flat toe. Hopefully it'll stay on there. This is one of the sketchier wheel runs we've done. <laughs> yeah. Our hitch is a little high. We thought about getting the GMC, but we're gonna give it a try on this. Yeah, GMC first. would be way too loud. Um, so I'm gonna go really slow. Yeah, I'm gonna walk beside it, feeding it fuel and hitting the carburetor. And then AJ's gonna walk beside me and film. Mm -hmm. And then we have a camera right there, so. We're gonna go ignition on, it's in gear, and I'm gonna pull you very slow. Okay, all right, let's give it a shot. and the fuel pump started working. Now dad's gonna pull it, we're gonna get it running, dad's gonna hop out, knock the hitch off, and hopefully dad can drive it because YouTube won't let me drive. So dad's gonna test drive it, we'll see how this works. Dad is pulling me right now, I'm not driving the car. So we're gonna try to get the sucker started again. Thank you. 
We're good! How are we gonna make this transition? Switch! Rev it way up! We need to make a Volkswagen track around here. That'd be fun. Oh, that's our battery! We're gonna hammer down. America! Oh no! I lost my battery! <laughs> oh no! our battery in there. Hopefully it doesn't just fall through. Fall through. Fall through. I lost the battery right through the floor pan. What the heck, Jack? My license plate didn't stay in. That sucks. So Dad hit second gear and came down this hill. It looks flat on camera, but there's a little hill right here. My homemade floor pan came out right here. Battery hit the ground. Hit the ground again. Started tumbling. Made divots in the ground. All the way to where it landed. It says it's a super start extreme. Not that extreme though, I guess. We should flip that over. Oh yeah, we got a big hole in the bottom of it. Yeah. Dang it. Our good super start. That's my brand new battery. So let me reference where our pan is or what. So it's right here. That's a long time for that battery to tumble. I was wondering why it was running so good and then it just quit. Do you I'm, not hear it? It was loud. It goes boom boom. I thought I I thought that hitch was coming down. I was waiting to endo off that receiver <laughs> hitch because I I was like bracing for impact to that receiver hitch so. it well just, it runs yeah it runs we have a even bigger hole in our floor pan i don't know where that other piece of metal went but there was some left of that and now there's nothing left our cords are hanging out the bottom i don't know what this is i don't know if that was there or not but now we have a bigger hole in our floor pan I'm glad I didn't fall through the whole floor pan. I know, look at your seat. Like, look at the brackets on your seat. Yeah, I don't think I want to drive this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you have some floor pan work done to do before we put this thing back in the pasture. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is that? Oh, that's a seat track. Oh, yeah. The Ford floor mats were making me feel extra safe. Extra safe? Oh my this gosh, one about, had that one almost <laughs> That one about went through. <laughs> this car is slightly dangerous. Yeah. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Let me know what you guys think we should do with this bug. We have a lot nicer bugs back in the pasture, but they don't have engines. So we could pull this engine, put it in a nicer bug, or we can just keep this one as our pasture bug, but put another battery in it and fix the floor pans a little bit. I don't know, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. See y'all next video.